So we're at Huawei's pre-MWC briefings in London. I'm with Mohammed Madkour and we're talking about WTTX. So Mohammed, what is WTTX and, and what advantages can it bring to mobile operators? WTTX is wireless to the X. So it's a wireless home broadband solution that can quickly and efficiently address home broadband business need. It reuses the existing uh, mobile network technologies like 4G. high gain plug and play CPE to be deployed at the household. Um, WTTX has unique values as compared to FPB. Number one unique value about WTTX is the attractive business case economics in terms of faster ROI and also reusage of the existing network resources. Number two is the fast time to market and easier service provisioning. Number three is the deployment. The deployment can be synergized by, with fiber deployment, and also it can be synergized with MBB to make sure that the investment is optimized and also it makes sure that there is no impact on mobile broadband user experience. So how can mobile operators actually deploy a WTTX solution and what kind of business proposition does portfolio and also more importantly the value added tools that will enable uh, more efficient deployment and more efficient operation and right now we are in WTTX 2.0 era in WTTX 2.0 era we use the 4.5 G technologies and uh, which which will actually give us up to uh, uh, 1 gigabit per second peak and from 30 to 100 megabit per second average user uh, speed so from Huawei's experience with operators having deployed WTTX already, what, uh, what do operators need to do to actually make this a success? What do they need to think of and what do they need to put into their strategy? Just like any new service deployment, um, an expertise is needed to run this business successfully. And this expertise, not only technical, it also encompasses uh, a lot of other experience in terms of business model, resource in general. That's great. Thanks very much for that perspective. And now let's hear from the analyst side of the fence about what WTTX can deliver. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. So, Demetrius, what are the main challenges that operators are facing in terms of delivering home broadband access? It's actually a physical problem, laying down the uh, cables for enabling access to broad for broadband to homes. Now, for example, in the U.S., 60% of homes are connected with broadband. 40% isn't. And the U.S. is quite an advanced broadband market. And if we consider other markets, like, for example, Indonesia, which has hundreds of islands, and it's impossible to connect them via physical connection, then you, 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 you'll see that you know, enabling broadband for homes, we should also consider that nearly a, a billion of households across the world are unconnected. So it is an opportunity, definitely, for telcos, but in many cases, you know, connecting them via fixed connection is not profitable. Okay. So, um, you know, wireless options have been um, suggested and tried before, but, but in 2017 and beyond, what kind of wireless broadband access propositions are there that, that network operators can adopt? Well, the interesting thing with wireless is that it's everywhere, more or less. It's in uh, suburban areas, it is definitely in urban areas, and also going into rural areas. So 4G is going into the rural areas. And with a few modifications, the mobile network can be suited to provide broadband connectivity to homes. So for example, uh, you know, operators can give a customer premises equipment that enables a fixed connection to unconnected homes, and enable broadband connectivity at a much lower cost compared to laying down a fixed wire, either cable or DSL. And we've seen several cases of successful strategies, for example, in Germany. You know, even though Germany is very well connected, we did see that the regulator had to enforce fixed connections, fixed LTE, being the main, the first driver for LTE.